Officials at almost every level of government are talking about grade school curriculum and what your students should be allowed to learn in the classroom. Well, now one North Carolina group says the history of Mount Rushmore could be removed from history books. Paul Spade checks that claim for PolitiFact. Does the political left want to stop people from learning about Mount Rushmore? Well, that's what the North Carolina Republican Party implied in an email to potential donors, as you can see here. This caught our attention because erasing Mount Rushmore from history books would certainly be news to us here at WRAL. It also stands out because, well, the political left is sometimes accused of wanting to teach kids too much bad stuff about the Founding Fathers. And this claim sort of goes in the opposite direction, claiming the left wants to suppress American history. Now, you might think, what could be so bad about Mount Rushmore of all places? Well, it's on land that originally belong to Native American tribes, and the main sculptor has ties to white supremacist groups, as you can see here documented by the Smithsonian Magazine. So if you search the internet, you might find stories about that history or about Native American groups wanting the land back or about whether the monument is racist. But we found no evidence of any concerted effort to remove references of Mount Rushmore from history books. North Carolina's Education Department, they're not aware of any such proposal. The state's Democratic Party, they're not aware of any effort or bill either. And the local Republican Party, they didn't respond to our request for comment. And this web page, this is what their email linked to, it doesn't really offer any answers either. And that's why the Truth Meter rates their claim false. Read our full fact check at WREL.com.